Hey guys, how's it going? Josh Spoon here. Uh, took a month off after the Max for Life Madness. I uh, had to relax, chill with my wife. But I'm back and I'm here with uh, Moto Bass by IK Multimedia. Moto Bass comes with uh, 12 different basses that you can choose from. You can do all sorts of things like change the playing style, uh, the pickups, where the pickups are positioned, and it allows you for a lot of flexibility. The great thing about partnering up uh, Moto Bass with Ableton Live is the audio to MIDI function. So if you're not a bass player, you can get some really good uh, bass sounds uh, with this instrument and you can also just sing into a mic and come up with really cool um, bass lines. So you don't have to learn the bass or hire a bass player or wonder how those cool licks are going to get played. You just sing it and it's all good. We're also going to look at a recording by James Jamerson, soloed out piece and uh, convert that to Moto Bass. All right, so let's get started. Cool, so I'm going to be using IK Multimedia's also uh, iRig Pro, which is really awesome. I use it for all my gigs. It's very small and it fits anywhere and I don't have to lug around a giant metal uh, interface anymore. I'm so happy I got it about two years ago. Um, so yeah, check that out as well. Uh, I should do a video on that. Uh, maybe it will. And uh, so yeah, I'm just going to record this right now. Okay, so here we go. Boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 ba -dum, boom, 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 Cool. Take this guy, and all I gotta do, I have the moto base right here. I'll just drag this over. Make sure it's melody. It's gonna convert it. And let's see. There's a wrong note in there, and the great thing about MIDI is we can just go in and change it up. So I put this in the arrangement view so you can kind of see the notes as they come through. playing style here, stroke, have it ring, muting, so it's really cool, I was able to take a tribe called Quest is Buggin' Out, bass line, and then uh, just sing it, and then apply it to the bass. Uh, I could get in here and get more technical with it, but let's move on to the Jamerson piece. Plus the one I did earlier. So this is just 16 bars here of the Jameson. You play so beautiful, don't you agree? All right, so I just bring this guy over. So I just hit uh, option and drag melody. You can even rearrange it to kind of make your own uh, baseline that's not even remotely similar to this. You keep the style, the, the timing, and just change the notes. Okay, so let's have a listen at what got created here. And like I said, there may be some wrong notes, but uh, we could change them. Now let's see what it would be like if Paul McCartney played this. Jameson was known to do. This flat wound, round wind, round wound. There we go. Do heavy gauge, old, new. And put a modern J bridge on here. Also move these guys around so you can customize this bass however you want I can go to 
the amp here, effects section, there's an octave. So there's a little pedal board, compression, gives me a little bit of gain reduction notice right here. Envelope follower, and then there's all the different options here. I can choose solid state or tube. back and try a couple of more bases. All these, like I said, are customizable so I could move any of these guys around. Alright, cool. So one last thing is you have key switches that you could do and you also have CCs that you could set. So I'm going to play around here and I'm going to, so I'm going to go up here to CC9 and that is muting. Let's just mute a couple here and let's see what we get. Very, very cool. So um, that's an option for you to be able to automate it, but you can also uh, set, let me delete this. Key switches. So you can see A minus one lets it ring. Here's ghost notes. If I hold this down and play. And you could do this with an actual keyboard or a push or any type of MIDI controller that sends out notes. Cool guys, so I'm just going to go through a couple of different presets and mess with some things on the way out. Like I was saying, audio to MIDI is a great feature, uh, whether you're trying to change the sound of an instrument, like a bass, um, to something inside of a moto bass, or if you're trying to come up with a cool bass line but you can't play it, you could sing it and then transfer it to moto bass, or any type of VST for that matter, but today we're talking about moto bass. So um, thanks to IK Multimedia, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm Josh Spoon, producer's kitchen, and don't forget to always be creating. See you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.